Today, Hollywood mourns the loss of veteran actor Dabney Coleman, known for his memorable roles in 9 to 5, Boardwalk Empire, and Tootsie. Coleman passed away at the age of 92 at his home in Santa Monica on Thursday. His daughter, Quincy Coleman, shared a heartfelt statement highlighting her father's curious mind, generous heart, and humor that resonated with so many. As he lived, he moved through this final act of his life with elegance, excellence, and mastery, she said. Born in Austin, Texas, Coleman initially studied law and served in the U.S. Army before diving into an acting career in the early 1960s, known for playing lovable jerks. His breakout role came in 9 to 5 inches as a lecherous boss opposite Dolly Parton, Jane Fonda, and Lily Tomlin. Coleman's extensive TV career included roles in Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, and Buffalo Bill, which earned him Emmy nominations. He won his only Emmy for the 1987 TV movie Sworn to Silence and a Golden Globe for Slap Maxwell. In his later years, Coleman continued to shine with roles like Mr. Drysdale in the Beverly Hillbillies movie, The Ruthless Commodore in Boardwalk Empire, and a memorable appearance on Yellowstone in 2019. On Friday, Coleman's manager, Jeff Goldberg, praised him as a great friend and a privilege to represent. Actor Ben Stiller tweeted, The great Dabney Coleman literally created, or defined, really in a uniquely singular way, an archetype as a character actor. Dabney Coleman leaves behind his children and grandchildren, along with a legacy of iconic performances that have left an indelible mark on film and television, he will be greatly missed. Numbers 2. We remember Darren Dutchishan, the longtime TSN personality and Sports Center host, who passed away on Wednesday after a courageous battle with prostate cancer. He was 57. Stuart Johnston, senior vice president of sales and sports at Bell Media, paid tribute to Dutchishan, calling him a legend of Canadian sports broadcasting, a great teammate, and an essential part of TSN for the last three decades. Dutchishan began his illustrious TSN career in 1995, hosting weekend editions of Sportsdisc and CFL Live. Over the years, he became a beloved mainstay on TSN's flagship news program, SportsCenter, known for his late-night editions alongside Rod Smith and later Jennifer Hedger. He played a key role in the Kraft Celebration Tour, bringing SportsCenter on the road across Canada, and co-hosted the boxing show in this corner with Russ Amber. Dutchishan also hosted Olympic primetime during the Vancouver 2010 Winter Games and London 2012 Summer Games. Born in Regina and raised in Porcupine Plain, Sask, Dutchishan's career started with STV in Saskatoon and included stints with IMTV in Dauphin, Man, and ITV Sports Night in Edmonton. The Dutchishan family shared he passed as he was surrounded by his closest loved ones. His sharp wood remained until his final moments, delivering plenty of jokes, most of them pretty good and all of them inappropriate. Johnston added, Darren's incredible sense of humor and magnetic energy made him a natural broadcaster who connected easily with viewers. His enthusiasm reminded us every day of why we love sports. Darren Dutchishan will be dearly missed by his colleagues, friends, and countless fans. Our heartfelt condolences go out to his family and loved ones during this difficult time. Numbers 3. We mourn the loss of Veronica Tusing, the acclaimed Mexican actress and presenter, who has died at the age of 48 after a courageous battle with cancer. Veronica Tusing was a beloved figure in Mexican entertainment, known for her versatility and talent. She won the Ariel Award for Best Actress in 2018 for her role in Polar Bear, a groundbreaking film shot entirely on mobile phones. In Polar Bear, Tusing played Fla, a divorced mother of two, navigating themes of class, racism, and excessive drinking on a road trip with old school friends. The film also won Best Mexican Film at the Morelia International Film Festival. Tusang's other notable works include the soap opera Amartias Mi Sin, the series Comedy Central Duelo de Comedance, La Double Vida, and films like Cosa's Impossibles and Papao Mama. She was also known for her voice roles, including Kung Fu Panda 4, and worked as a television scriptwriter. 
The Mexican Academy of Cinematographic Arts and Sciences and the National Association of Actors also expressed their sorrow over her passing, highlighting her significant contributions to Mexican cinema and television. In 2021, Tuseng revealed her breast cancer diagnosis on the show Cuchillada, which she hosted. She was open about her journey, inspiring many with her strength. Born on March 15, 1976, Veronica Tuseng leaves behind a legacy of remarkable performances and memorable roles. She will be dearly missed by fans, colleagues, and loved ones.